We're just a couple of days away from the Bison football team returning to the friendly confines of the Fargo Dome. North Dakota State preparing to host their home opener against the Maine Black Bears, a team they've never played before. Now, while the Black Bears are a new opponent for North Dakota State, they aren't exactly unknown. Maine opened their season with a narrow loss to Florida International, giving the Bison an idea of what they have to go up against in the Fargo Dome on Saturday. Defensively, the Black Bears held their FBS opponents to just 14 points and only 13 rushing yards. On the flip side of that, the main offense saw their quarterback throw for 213 yards on 43 attempts and a true freshman running back rushed for 108 yards and a touchdown in his first college game. Head coach Matt Ennis talked to us about what he saw from Maine in that opening contest and what they expect coming into the Fargo Dome. They played a really good football game. Uh, you know, FIU, uh, FBS program, uh, that's on the turnaround a little bit, but they went down to Miami and, and competed with them for four quarters, had the ball with probably about six minutes left and, and moving, uh, and just ran out of time and ran out of downs, I should say. Uh, it looks like they brought in some, some new pieces. So I, I just think they continue to improve personnel. Uh, you could tell defensively they've probably been in the, in the system now for, for longer than a year, and, and that's always a benefit. The Bison are also looking to continue a streak this weekend. They've won 24 consecutive home openers heading into this contest. The last time North Dakota State lost a home opener, I was five years old. Do with that information what you will. They go for their 25th in a row on Saturday afternoon. The FM Redhawks may be heading down to Iowa to continue their playoff series against Sioux City, but their team captain has already been awarded some hardware. Sam Dexter's been named the American Association's Defensive Player of the Year. It's been a special year for Dexter, who was named the first team captain in franchise history this season. In a year of injuries and roster movement, he's been a consistent force in the FM infield. Dexter and the rest of the Redhawks will be in action tomorrow in part two of their best of three series with the Explorers. They have to win that game to keep their season alive. The Shanley boys soccer team looking to keep their unbeaten season going in an EDC matchup tonight hosting Fargo North. We're scoreless midway through the opening half. A high arcing kick bounces off the head of Michael Nowak right over the keeper and lands in the net. Shanley gets a good bounce and a 1-0 lead. The Spartans on the attack now deep in Shanley territory. Aiden Nojang dials it up from long distance, but the call is declined by keeper Hayden Braun. Shanley hanging on to their 1-0 lead. Going to the final minutes of the first half now. We saw a good bounce for Shanley earlier. This may be the opposite. The long shot goes off the crossbar. They get the rebound, but Spartan goalie Maddox Watson lays all the way out, gets just enough of the ball to keep it on the right side of the net. We finished the first half with a one nothing game and Shanley's going to hold on to that lead all the way through, improving to 6-0-1 on the season with this one nothing win. Sometimes a good bounce is all you need, and that was literally the only goal they needed in this one. Luck matters a lot in <laughs> yes, sports. Yes. We know that. Sometimes it's better to be lucky. It was a nice <laughs> night for some soccer. I enjoyed it.